peace. First off, don't mind the pins and the locks. I'm retwisting the locks. Once or twice a year, I retwist. So don't let that distract you on the build that I'm giving. So I'm gonna build on people pigeonholing you into what's normal. So we know there's actual outliers in just about everything that's done. You need outliers. Outliers push civilization forward. And that's a broad spectrum to say civilization. I'm just emphasizing outliers. So when you say that Let me use myself for an example. I'm pretty fit. I always say that I'm 50, but I'm 49. I always round up. It's like whatever, 49, 50, it's all the same. So I'm 49. I'm pretty fit to be 49. I'm not like, uh, I've never been able to lift a lot of weight. It's just not my body type. It's not my genetics to lift a lot of weight. However, I lift pretty good substantial weight for my actual weight, right? I'm like 175. So I, I lift fairly good, especially at 49, right? Besides that, I can run fairly fast. I'm athletic still. Um, I'm gymnastic, gymnast, handstands, back bridges. I'm athletic, right? Plyometrics, and that's at 49. So I'm absolutely an outlier when it comes to fitness. So there are outliers. I will say that I am part of 1% of my age range when it comes to fitness and what I'm capable of doing. That's the example, right? An outlier. I'll tell you something else that's an outlier. Somebody being honest, somebody standing on principles, somebody able to take an L by keeping it real and it doesn't benefit you when it's not advantageous for you by keeping it real. But you still keep it real because real is real and truth is truth. People instinctively assume that you're a liar or you're conniving or something like that. They don't even have a perception or discernment to ascertain, to detect when somebody is an outlier when it comes to principles. Now me, I don't lie just to be lying. I don't lie. Let me get that some context. I always tell people, you only lie to two people. I always tell people, you only lie to two people. That's the judge and the killers. Somebody that's about to send you to the netherworld. That's who you lie to. Other than that, you don't lie to nobody else. You lie to somebody for what? Right? So that's my principles. That's the foundation that I stand on. I don't lie. I, I have no fear. Lying about what? There's nothing to fear. I'm not going to jail and I'm not about to be returned. So what am I lying for? If I'm talking to you and I tell you something, it's really just that. And then people tell me, right, in conversations like, well, 
people normally lie. Okay, I'm not people, and nothing in my character that you can stand on that says that I lie. I don't need to lie to nobody, right? I definitely understand the other side of the spectrum because people all lie and people be lying and trying to connive and get over and manipulative and all of that. I understand. And some people just don't have that discernment. I, I absolutely get it. But people that I'm dealing with, which I don't deal with that many people, but be, people that I'm holding a conversation with, I get a little peeved when they look at me like, you telling the truth? What would I be lying about? Y'all ain't nobody to lie to, bro. What the fuck am I lying to you about? What you, what you gonna do to me? Not talk to me no more? Block me on something? That's asinine. That's asinine. It's a waste of time. I don't be wondering about what did I lie about so I can keep the lie going. That's a waste. That's a waste of thought. That's a waste of energy. I'm trying to utilize all my mental energy for positivity and for growth. I'm not trying to worry about whether I lied to you and can I keep the lie going. With all due respect, you're not even worth that much time, nor my energy, man. My time is precious. My energy is precious. I'm not lying to you. So, it's a quick video just to build on. Everybody can't be put into a pigeonhole, though you must scrutinize everybody, which I do as well. However, I'm going to own whatever my decision is. If I'm fucking with you and I think that you stand up and you turn around and burn me, I'm going to own that. I'm absolutely going to own that. Because the percentages about how many people burn me that I give some type of credence to is very, very slim. So I know that my discernment is up to par. So you can cogitate on that, man. Ruminate on this build, and we on to the next one. Peace.